Hey there, this is Wendy with loveandstampin.com. Thanks for being here with me today. I'm excited to show you this week's color splash and this amazing freeze and fun bundle. It comes with all these little dies to cut out all the little critters and the cute trees and stuff. And then there's this fantastic little sloping um, snow bank. <laughs> These are all of the colors in our color splash. Kind of a weird combo. We've got black, petal pink, shaded spruce, and soft sea foam. And I'm starting out by just stamping a bunch of stuff and coloring it. Um, the Because I get asked every single time I show them, um, the little labels on the ends of my Stampin' Blends are labels that I created and you can purchase. They are $7.95. If you want them, you can get them as a digital download or you can get them as a printed version on label paper so that when you get them, you can uh, punch them out and put them on your labels You do or on your pens. You do need a 3 8 inch circle punch in order to punch them out or you can hand cut them. That's an option too. So links for that are below the video. Um, I am using basic black to color my penguin first and um, then we're just going to color and chit chat because I feel like we haven't done that in quite a while. I know that I've had some stuff I've been sharing from our trip and so I thought I would just do that and kind of give you a life update today and color and so we'll just be popping back and forth between the card and chit-chatting. So one of the questions that I have received recently um, is why aren't your nails painted? Which I think is really funny that people notice that, but they do. And so um, I've just been tired of it. Do you ever just get tired of doing certain things? So I do my own nails. I do a gel coating and I do them myself and sometimes you, I just get tired of doing it. So I've taken a little break and my nails have gotten like super, they're really getting strong and healthy. So I think I might just start painting them with regular polish. I've been doing a little research on polishes and um, base coats and top coats that will help stay and won't chip super quickly. So I think I might try that out for a little while and see how it goes. Okay, um, other things to, to uh, talk about. Um, I got quite a few interesting comments on my reveal of the new Stampin' Up! die cut machine and it is linked below this video The the video I'm referring to is linked below this video and I'll also link it at the end of the video so you can watch it if you want to. But I found it very interesting because um, I had a lot of really negative feedback about it being the exact same as the Spellbinders. It's actually not. The outer design is similar in looks, but it actually is different if you compare the photos side by side. Um, the inner workings of the machine are absolutely partnered with another company, and Stampin' Up's been very transparent about that. So um, there's no big hidden agenda here. Um, die cut machines are it's kind of hard to reinvent the wheel on those. So um, yes, it's white. And other than that, it's actually, it's actual design looks quite a bit different when you compare them side by side. Um, and I mean, there's a million white cars on the road, right? Like somebody used this analogy and nobody says, oh, well that white car that's a four door car is copied from Toyota or whatever other company because the yeah so anyway I digress the bottom line is however you want to feel about it or think about it is totally fine uh, to each their own but Stampin' Up! did not copy it there is no copyright issue involved here um, no so there's no concern for any of that um, because they didn't do that. So 
back to the coloring. I'm using the dark shaded spruce at the bottom and then the lighter shaded spruce at the top. I actually should have done the opposite. So <laughs> the dark shaded spruce should have gone up underneath the snow and the light shaded spruce down below. Whoops, but I doubt anybody's gonna even notice or care. Then I'm taking my petal pink light and I'm just tracing the very bottoms of that snow just to give it a little bit of like texture or look or feel because otherwise it's just stark white. So I kind of really love how that light petal pink works for this. And then I'm doing the same with soft sea foam. I'm gonna color some of the trees in soft sea foam. Okay, what else do we have to talk about? I'm trying to find my, I have a whole list actually for you guys. Um, but I can't find it. I don't know what happened to it. Oh, right here. Okay. So, oh, I know. I'm going to tell you some more stuff about my trip. So we went to this really cool thing while we visited there called Rescued and Reclaimed. And if you're a card maker or a crafty person, you would love this. Um, we don't have them in California. So it's actually like a company, I guess, that started these. And basically they go to a warehouse and it's older items that have been redone or it can be new stuff too, but it's, it's better than a flea market, but not like a craft fair. It's something in between. So there's furniture, there's handbags, there's clothes, and a lot of it is handmade stuff. And some of it's not, but a lot of it is. And it was so fun. I loved it. And my cousin said that um, usually it's even bigger, like with more vendors, but because of COVID-19, it seemed like maybe not as many people were um, coming out, uh, vendors. And so anyway, it was really cool. We drove to North Dakota to go to it and I loved it. I had the best time there. And I loved it because it was really open. There weren't a ton of people, so I didn't feel freaked out because of the virus stuff. It made me feel comfortable and it was fun to shop. And I shopped my butt off in Montana because everything here in California is closed or if it's not closed, it is very like, um, like you have to wear the mask which is fine, I don't even care about that, except that it's hot and it's hard to breathe. Um, and a lot of places are closed or they have different business hours and it's crowded. So there it was like, like we went to this little kitchen store and there was literally nobody in there except us. It was wonderful. And so I bought a ton of stuff, I think I spent $150 in there. I bought risotto in these cute little packages and I'm gonna make it tonight for dinner. Never have made risotto, so it'll be interesting to see how that turns out. I'm really excited to do that, and I'll keep you guys posted. I'll let you know how it turns out, but I've told you before we're obsessed with Hell's Kitchen, so um, they cook risotto like all the time, and I'm like, I gotta just, I gotta try risotto. I gotta do it because we've been watching Hell's Kitchen, and so we want to do it. So I told my husband he has to help me because it basically says you have to stir it continuously for like 30 minutes. So I'm like, you're going to have to help because I'm going to grill steak while he's cooking the risotto, I think. So then if it's not cooked right, I can like call him a donkey and kick him out of the kitchen like Gordon Ramsay does. Anyway, so we went to Rescued and Reclaimed in North Dakota. I bought a bunch of cute stuff there. I got these really cute little signs that say different sayings about having dogs. They are so cute. Like one of them says, be the person your dog thinks you are. Oh my gosh. I was like, yes, please. That is so perfect. And um, we got, I'm trying to think of what else I got. Oh, I got these really cute bowls. Like I got this chip and dip bowl, a big one that says um, chip off the old block. And then the little dip container says, has a spoon that's engraved. And the spoon says, I dip, you dip, we dip. Oh my Lord. I was like, I am all over these. And then my cousin bought me one of them because there was another one. Here's the new machine, by the way, that you're seeing on my screen. 
you're going to be able to buy it in September if you need one. Um, so then my cousin bought me one that said like, um, it had like a little spoon and engraved in the spoon says Mexilent. And then the bowl says like, um, holy guacamole or something like that. It's like for guacamole. Oh, so cute. I can't wait to be able to host something again where I can use all my bowls that are all have all these cute sayings on them and do like I love we love Mexican food we you know we live in California lots of Mexican food influence here and I love Mexican food so um and one of my favorite things to make when I have people over is definitely Mexican food because it's really easy for making for a lot of people Okay, so I'm rambling today. I have like all these things I want to tell you and I finally made a video long enough for me to tell you everything. <laughs> and you can see here I'm just die cutting. So there's really nothing to tell you about the card. Um, after I got everything colored, I'm die cutting it all and then I'm going to go ahead and start making the card. Um, okay, the other cool thing that happened in Montana is my cousin's in-laws live next door to her and by next door I mean like probably not like less than a quarter of a mile maybe an eighth of a mile away from them I don't know they're down you can see their house from her house but it's not like they're right next to them anyway they have a horse and they have a buggy an Amish buggy and they surprised my daughter by hooking up the Amish bug buggy with the horse and showing up at my cousin's front doorstep. And my daughter got to go on a horse and buggy ride, which I think is the coolest thing ever. So I actually took some video of it and I will add it to the end of this video so that you can see it just because I thought it was really neat. And it was funny because as she was riding by uh, or as she was in the buggy, she was riding by a um, tanker truck, which my cousin drives my not my cousin Shannon, but her husband. He drives one of those uh, gas trucks. And so it was just funny to me because I'm like, oh, a horse and buggy going by a gas truck. I found that to be a quinky dink. Inter interesting, nonetheless. Okay, so right here, jumping to the card, I've cut this little piece at four and a quarter inches wide. And I am using the snow to kind of like line it up. Not really line it up, but I'm using the little hill to cut this in half. And then I'm going to use both sides for my card. And I have to tell you on this machine, um, I love how smooth it cuts. It is. It runs through and cuts much smoother than my Big Shot. I was really surprised. Okay, so you can see here they're almost exactly identical, so I'm just going to flip one over. The stitching will be a little bit bumpier on the top one, but I don't really care. It doesn't matter to me. Um, so if that is a big deal to you, then maybe you would want to cut, die cut another piece. I don't know. But for me, it was fine. And then you've got these really cool little sloping hills. And then we're going to ink blend on both of these in order to just give them a little bit of separation from their background. So I just didn't want it to be like white on white on white because then it's hard to see the differentiation in each layer. So one of the things that you can do is you can take a really soft light color. In this case, I want to stick with the color splash um, colors. So I'm going to use petal pink and in snow, um, oftentimes when you see people paint color, uh, whatever snow, there's sometimes there's pinks, blues, purples. So I felt like it was okay to go with just this pink on top of this little sloping hill. And it got a little bit darker than I wanted it to right there at the top because that's where the start part places. But uh, overall, I was happy with it. So, you know, there you go. So I'm just ink blending around the edges and the tops 
and then I'm going to even ink blend a little bit on the top of the card base itself um, and again to just help tone down so much of that white stark white and you can barely see the petal pink honestly um it's not it doesn't show up very much at all but it's just enough to give a little bit of a hue to break up all that stark white color um i'm definitely going to be using this stamp set and die set a bunch more i have some more fun ideas for it it's Seriously, my very, probably, I don't know, there's, I have like three very favorites out of the new catalog, and this is one of them. Top, top favorites. Um, I just love this set. So, anyway, uh, what else is happening? I just got home from picking up my husband's car at the shop. So he has a little commuter car that he uses for work. Um, it's older, it was a car we bought for like $3,000. And we had one previously and it finally totally dumped out on us. Like it just couldn't go anymore. I think it had almost 300,000 miles on it. <laughs> so um, we have, I have my vehicle and then we have a truck. And we don't want him to drive his truck to work every day because we don't want to put the miles on it. And we also don't want to spend the money in gas. So we have found it to be a humongous uh, money saver to have him have a commuter car. So it's a little Honda and it had to have a bunch of stuff done like new brakes, new shoes, new rotors, new drums uh yeah I don't know a list of things anyway I just got back from picking it up and it was seven hundred and sixty dollars and I about pooped myself I was like are you freaking kidding me I hate spending money on stuff like that I don't know about the rest of you but I really I really hate it it is not fun to me and it's like it just makes me mad <laughs> but Thank God I had the money to pay for it. So, I mean, the the upside, the blessing side is that I had the money to pay for it. And something I don't really talk about or share very much about is my budgeting system. I've shared my budgeting system with for my business a lot. But I haven't shared it with my personal life because it involves my husband and he's an extremely private person. So I know that he would not want all of our business splattered all over the internet. Um, otherwise, I would totally do budgeting videos. Seriously. In fact, I've even considered having like this channel be not just card making, but I don't know, I, I go back and forth because I think people would be like, what is this channel then? if I did card making and other stuff. But um, anyway, budgeting, we have a car maintenance savings account. Um, and so I save money in an account every paycheck for when we have a car problem. And thank God we had like 300 and some odd dollars in that account. So I just had to come up with the rest and it wasn't that big of a deal. Because um, I also make sure that we always have a little bit of a cushion in our checking account. Not much of one, but there's always a little bit of one there. And if you need budgeting tips or advice, I strongly recommend that you follow The Budget Mom. The Budget Mom is amazing. And she has seriously like helped me so much. And I use all of her stuff. And we follow her program pretty much to the T. I mean, I think there's a few things we don't do, but for the most part, we do. Um, we also recently saved money for a Costco run. So I really like getting stuff from Costco because I can stock up every couple of months and then not have to be in and out of the grocery stores. A uh, little known fact about me, I hate grocery shopping. Um, I loathe it with every ounce of my being. So I'll do anything to avoid it. So we go like once every couple months to Costco and then 
every couple weeks I do a little order on Safeway.com and they deliver it right to my house and it's wonderful. So anyway, uh, we recently did a Costco run and it was like $700. But again, we were out of everything because we had been on vacation and I had saved money in an envelope. So we had money to cover it. And it was just, it was really good. I had been saving for a few months um, to, to be able to do a nice big Costco haul and it was good. And so, and then in other news, which I don't have time to tell you really the whole thing, but we're getting a freezer because we're going to get a cow. We're going to do like half a beef and split it with somebody. So I'll tell you all about that in the next video because it might be something you're interested in. All right, we're done. And I know this video was totally rambly and random. So if you stuck with me all the way to the end, kudos to you. Comment below and let me know if you've made it this far. <laughs> I doubt many people will. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I always look forward to hanging out with you and sharing and chit-chatting. We'll talk to you soon. Have a good one.